Welcome at Best Consult International. Today we are going to talk about hospitality industry. And when you are talking about hospitality industry, you cannot do away with customer care. Uh, remember, in today's business world, if you are not getting better, then you see it being good. And from there, I want to ask uh, who is a customer? And we look at a customer as uh, the most important person in an organization ever. He is not depending on our organization, but we do depend on him or her. He brings his or her once unto us, and it's our duty uh, to handle this uh, once uh, profitably. Uh, we are not doing him, uh, and it's not. It's, it's we are not doing him a favor. He is doing us a favor uh, by giving us an opportunity to handle his wants. And to note, he is the lifeblood of all businesses. Now that is to say, an absence of a customer means business, no business, no employment, and no profits which most businesses are after. So here we look at why do we need uh, customer care? Number one is uh, to safeguard market share in cutthroat competition. Uh, we look at the environment that is having uh, a lot of competitors and customer care can cut the edge of you and the rest. Uh, we look at also safeguarding our employment, our investments, also increasing profit by making sure that uh, business survive the next decade. We all know that when you are not making uh, money or you are not making profits, uh, your business cannot survive. Uh, so customer care is very important for you to keep your job, to make sure the investment is kept, to make sure that also your business keeps and survives for the next uh, uh, century. And now we look at customer retention. For course, when you have very good customer care, uh, the advantages are high that you have customer care, I mean customer retention. And when you are retaining customers, every other day you have you are assured that there is business. And to note anyway, we should note that uh, we are surrounded by competitors of whom our customers can opt for in case they are dissatisfied with our service. So we should take these people as cardinal as they are, and uh, here are the, the cardinal rules of customer care. Uh, one is, uh, customer is always the king and must be handled with his majesty. Uh, he is the core element in keeping us in business, and therefore, uh, we should focus on him as our king. Yes. Uh, we should know that we are there because of a customer. Without this customer, then we are dreaming because there is no job, there is no profit. You get. Uh, thirdly, for any organization that does business needs money and profit. And these profits cannot come in just in a job. They have to be, there has to be a customer for a company to sell and it makes its margin. And the fourth way, the customer is right. And uh, I want to tell you that no one wins an argument with a customer. Although there are exceptions, but no one wins an argument uh, with a customer. To note, uh, the question here is that uh, whenever you feel that a customer has done something wrong, or he, she has erred, a good approach must be adopted in resolving the issue. Uh, whenever we are dealing with customers and getting difficulties with them, we must look for our weakest or a weakness that may lead to the loss of this customer in any case. So that is that. The types of customers. Now, in any organization, these two types of customers are there. And number one, we have internal customers, and these are the employees in the organization uh, who are supporting you, and you also support them uh, to get the job done. These are very important people. Then we have an external 
customers. These are people who operate outside business. We have customers, as we are saying, those who come regularly to eat with us. We have suppliers. We have brokers. We have ventures. These ones. And all these are very, very, very important. So now, what are the basic rules of uh, these categories? In, in the case, let's first deal with internal customers. The quality of service that we employees uh, give to each other is the quality of service that comes back to the customer. I talk of this regular buyer. If we are treated badly, chances are that we will treat badly our customers. Then when we look at uh, the market, the, the market department can pass through, pass through the other customer, but the quality of service must keep them. So we look at what is the quality of service that you are issuing. Hmm? If the quality of service you are issuing is substandard, mind you, <laughs> Customers will just relocate. So, in this case, what are the requirements to make sure we have effective customer care? One, uh, we require us to know our customers. Number two, requires us to know our organizations, their purpose, their aims, and objectives, and standards of doing business. Thirdly, requires us to know our SWOT analysis, look at the strengths, weakness, opportunities, and the threats. Who is our competitors? Hmm? What is their strengths? What are their weaknesses? When you have known this, then you know the area to attack. So it requires us to know our products. Do we know our products, services, and their weaknesses and strengths compared to those of uh, the, the competitors? It requires us to know our competitors' products and services, their strengths and weaknesses. Eh? What do they sell most? How do we make our strength? Then? You get. How do we look different eh, from them? Their products. Those ones. It requires us also to indicate the pain and struggle of getting new customer. As you all know, it's painful uh, to get a customer than to retain uh, the old one. The moment you implicate the pain, of getting another customer, you will know the effective way of handling these people. And I want you to note that customers do not wish to move from business to business when they are satisfied with your goods and services. We should not forget price wars due to competition over the same, 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 same service. Now, what do they need? Customers, what do they need? So, to create customer care is not only about offering what you believe the customers wants, but it's about asking what the customer needs and you try to live it. Uh, now we are going to look into approaches in identifying customer needs. Having seen how you can derive to what the customer needs, how do you know uh, what uh, this customer needs? Now we have direct discussion with customers so that they can chat chat it out what is need uh, we have feedbacks from staff members who do directly with customers what do they tell yeah? if things are bad if things are good you get uh, you see we analyze customer comments and complaints for instance you have facebook page you can get those comments you have a google business you can get those comments twitter etc sieve through so that you are looking at the competitive edge and note that it is important to build good relationship with our customers for them but realize that we are sincere and ready to satisfy their needs managers should understand that uh, people like to buy from where they know i said that people like to buy from where they know now how do you get to customer satisfaction in other words what is customer satisfaction we look at it's a level of a person's feeling uh, resulting from comparing a service or a product performance or outcome. Uh, it is always good to meet customers' uh, perceptions and reflect uh, reality. Now, then this uh, leads us to the levels of satisfaction. What are the levels of satisfaction? 
of course we have a customer a customer is uh, dissatisfied if service or product falls below expectation i came expecting very nice food now when i eat too much salt when i eat too much oil when i eat no test i have not met my, my 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 expectation and now i'm dissatisfied so a customer is satisfied if the product or service performance meets his expectations i came expecting very nice food test and so on i have got it i'm satisfied and now we have the third one where a customer is highly satisfied and this comes in when performance exceeds his or expectations okay and this exceeds of expectations i came expecting to be served on time very nice food but there is another extra touch that makes me feel like i have met my expectation i, I mean i have exceeded uh, expectation and i want you to note uh, most the managers uh, should understand that a good customer service starts with being polite and having a positive attitude to everyone you meet within the organization uh, meeting customer needs and satisfaction is very important for an organizational survival because it is it contributes on achieving organizational aims goals and objectives and now look at what are customer service facts look at it here look at me the customer is always willing to pay more to receive better service that's number one and number two you are having 95 percent of dissatisfied customers will become real again if their complaints are handled well and quickly you're looking at this dissatisfied customer for him to come back 95 percent of dissatisfied customers will become loyal again if their complaints are handled well and quickly chop, chop. so a dissatisfied customer would tell an average of 10 people about their bad experience in your organization looking at one are telling more than 10 people and we are having a satisfied one satisfied customer will tell an average of five people about his or her good experience with you even not so we are finding it that a satisfied customer makes a lot of makes more impact and noise than a satisfied customer so now the requirement is we should always strive to make sure customers are satisfied then another one if 20 customers are dissatisfied with your service 19 will not tell you and may not come back while only one may tell you you look at 20 people and 19 will ignore your place will not come back will not tell you and one person uh, will tell you and this very person has told you is the one who is likely to be your customer again but these are the ones I don't care look at how satisfaction is very important or customer care is very very important uh, up to 90 percent of dissatisfied customers will not buy from you again and they will not tell you why look at the number up to 90 of the dissatisfied customers will not buy from you again and they are not going to they are not going to tell you why that means you are left to 10 percent and now here we look at how it pays it costs twice or three three thrice to make a customer then to retain the old one not what we need provide high quality service and save your organization or company money because the same skills you use to increase customer satisfaction will also lead to employees increase productivity and now we come at through customer rights what do customers like? A smile, an offer to help, a greeting, paying attention, who listening? Because the customers doesn't like people who doesn't listen. Customers doesn't like people who urge you. For people who urge you, if you know you are judgmental, please. This industry is not yours. Try somewhere else. Thank you. Now we have uh, what do customers doesn't need to hear or things that. Uh, you cannot say to a customer something like i cannot help you where did you study from 
to say you cannot hear the customer in English. And what has you come to do? Anyway, oh, you tell a customer, but you are very long. The customer is long. The other side, you say, the, no one wins an argument with the customer. So if you cannot win an argument with the customer, whether you say wrong or what, you are lost. Don't say, tell a customer that he is or she is wrong. You'd have to come back. Like using, it's, it's saying you would have to come back is a condition. As if if I don't come back, I will lose. But this is a person who has money. He's bringing his words. So never tell a customer, you will have to come back if maybe there is no pork or maybe there is no something whole fish and you wanted you say, you will have to come back and have it. Very long. Stop it. Uh, or you, some a customer is trying to request uh, an advice and you say, this is not my job. Wait a minute. If it's the manager's job, receive the customer, see the customer, please call the manager, but never say, this is not my job. And so, if it's not, where do you tell me to go? Please. Uh, those people are in hospitality, stop saying this is not my job. Are you sure? A king. You see a customer in this instance, you are looking at a king. And you are asking a customer, are you sure? That is to say, you don't know what you are saying. Anyway, in this society, most of the customers don't want to be proved wrong. So, uh, don't tell a customer that, are you sure? Or, customers ask you something, say, no, 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 no is not in, in this industry. Always look for a solution or an approach, but don't say, no, 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 jokingly, stop. Uh-huh, oh, that's not my, uh, it's not my fault. Uh, customers will do error. As I said, in the first instance, we talked about exceptions. But don't tell a customer that this is not my fault. Eh? A customer believes that every time he does something wrong, uh, it's possible there can be something done. Now, there are some best, uh, best things to talk or to say to a customer. And here we look at, uh, I will be glad to meet you again. Uh, thank you for, promise, uh, for promoting us. Huh? You, you are always right, okay? You are right. Uh, I will do my best to meet uh, your needs. I will find out, I will personally work it on. For instance, when a, a customer has not met his satisfaction, you say, please, next time, I will make sure I meet your needs. Humbly, politely, and sweetly. Why do customers pull out all defect in, in, in businesses? Uh, this is what we are looking at now. Uh, you look at expectations. If a customer uh, has bought a product and the service of that product finds that its expectations does not meet with what this person was expecting, he huh? will not. Of finding expectation uh, I don't meeting with what uh, the product is, the customer will rocket. We look at complexity, uh, complexity like in, in customer, when, if a customer discovers complications in service delivery or use of a product, can opt it out. You have ever experienced this? For instance, you have gone on, on, on a computer app and it doesn't open, does it? You leave. Yeah, then you opt for those as long as you have an alternative. You can only stick there when you don't have an alternative. But the moment there is an alternative, mind you, you will switch. Competition. As a result of competition, companies that do not care over customer lose them to their competitors. You all know this. You have to care because now this industry is coming competitive. So that one is self-explanatory. You look at the price. Eh? Customers. There are some customers who are price sensitive. For those customers, as long as they can get the best of what he expects, is willing to pay. But there are those who are price sensitive. If the competitor can offer the same product at a relative low price, this person will relocate. These things also happen. Hmm? Why do customers pull out? Those are the things. So, uh, we look at examples of good service. 
And now when you res uh, one is responding to customer needs very quickly and efficiently. When you respond to customer needs very quickly and efficiently, I'm telling you, the sky is the limit. Then you look at implementing loyalty programs such as you have sales promotion after sales services, accepting and fitting after you get defect. All those things. Send birthday cards. Greetings. Good. Those things are examples of a good service. Also having staff members who are polite and friendly to all uh, to all, all all the times. You know? <coughs> I'm looking at now <coughs> don't have good customer I mean good staff. You have staff who are always polite, who are always jolly, you get. I expect the sky to be the remit. Now there are other bad things that you also talk to customers. Stop. And these are this. Uh, an environment where the officers are and offices are unclean, the rooms are not swept, grasses, you get a dirty environment. People don't like. A person is going to sit in first touch on the chair to see what the is does. You get. People will not love it. Selling environment. That's what always people want. Uh, not notifying customers on changes like price, logos, and location. Yeah? But mostly prices. Customer comes with a budget. It reaches there. They eat. They know it's a usual one. Then they see the beer. Shock. It's shock. Stop. Try to reach them as possible, as soon as possible. And if you have not tried to reach them by other media uh, uh, ways, uh, make sure when they come, you tell them, this is like a new menu. Our prices have slightly increased so that they are not ambushed. They decide as soon as possible, uh, not delivering what has been promised. Some of us put things beyond. And you say, like O Cafe, says we are big on test and they make sure we deliver that test but they also will say we are big on test and they deliver bogus oh my god so set what you can do say what you can say and what you can do otherwise you will be disappointed so uh, customers also doesn't want this bad 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 brutal comments like that is not my job i don't know I, want, I can't help you. You are, misuse, you are misusing our sources. It is, those things are not there. Regardless, of course, there are customers. I said there are exceptions. And I don't need to go detailed into that. Now, how to stay close to customers? Now, you need to show them that you really think about them. For example, by sending a fax, a text, a newspaper, Christmas card, birthday cards, and others of that kind. Yeah, that one I talked about it. So you need to tell them what is new about your company. Offer value customers with discounts, cash discounts on the sales. Uh, this will make customer happy and loyal. Compensation. Your customers uh, for for any loss caused by our company, time defect, or service you get. These are compensations just to keep this person cross and in relation. Then honor your customers' privacy by keeping confidential information. Instances happen like when you are working in a hotel and your neighbor comes in the hotel with a man, yet you know he's married or is yes, he's a married, and you go out and you start uh, giving out those acid. Please stop. Hmm? Now this person will never, never come. But the moment she knows I can go to the other place, there is a neighbor, and everything will keep as secret as possible. This customer, I mind you, this person will come back freely. Yeah? So make sure you keep those secrets, my friend. Uh, keep on your promise. Never promise what you cannot deliver. I think we talked about that. Uh, promise what you can do. Promise what you can deliver. Yeah? So you do, you are not disappointed. Give, give feedback to your customers for, uh, for them uh, to get what they, required for, uh, they are required to do. You get information is very very important can i expire here hmm? have i talked but we still have time anyway uh happy reading and explore business best concert international bringing success closer and we succeed together
थैंक यू